Ancient Judea, a land of scorching sun and dusty roads, people toiled under Roman rule, their spirits yearning for hope. Stories of prophets and healers, divine interventions and miraculous cures were whispered around campfires. These tales offered solace and fueled dreams, a testament to enduring belief in the divine. Word began to spread through the bustling marketplaces. Whispers of a man named Jesus, a carpenter from Nazareth, said to possess powers unlike any they had witnessed. He spoke with authority, challenging the religious elite and captivating the hearts of the common people. The blind could see, the lame could walk, and even the dead were brought back to life. These tales of healing spread like wildfire, igniting a fervor in the hearts of the people. The air crackled with anticipation wherever Jesus went. Crowds surged forward, eager to witness his power firsthand. Among them were those who believed wholeheartedly and those who doubted. Yet all were drawn to him by the undeniable reality of his miracles. In this land, a simple encounter was about to unfold, a testament to the power of faith. For 12 long years, she had lived in the shadows. 12 years of relentless pain, of whispered conversations, of pitying glances. Her affliction had robbed her of her vitality, her dignity, and her place in the world. She had sought help from physicians and healers, endured painful treatments, and spent her meager savings on empty promises. But her condition had only worsened, leaving her body weakened and her spirit broken. Yet deep within her weary heart, a tiny ember of faith still flickered. News of Jesus of Nazareth reached her ears like a distant melody. At first, she dismissed it as just another tale, another false hope. But as the stories of his miracles spread, a flicker of hope ignited within her. She clung to these accounts, daring to believe that perhaps, just perhaps, this man could be different. One day, the whisper of hope became a roar when she learned that Jesus would be passing through her town. Ignoring the protests of her weary body, she resolved to reach Jesus. The streets teemed with people, a cacophony of noise and movement. She pushed forward, her frail body buffeted by the throng, her eyes fixed on the figure ahead. She could see him now, his head and shoulders visible above the crowd. As he drew closer, she felt a surge of both fear and determination. She stumbled and nearly fell, her hand instinctively reaching out to steady herself. Her fingers brushed against a rough fabric, the edge of a garment, e. In that instant, a current of power flowed through her. Years of pain, of weakness, of despair, seemed to melt away. Her body, so long accustomed to affliction, felt lighter, stronger, renewed. She straightened, her spine no longer bent with pain. Her steps, once hesitant, now felt firm and sure. It was a miracle transforming her from the inside out. The crowd continued to press around her, oblivious to the transformation. But for her, the world had narrowed to this single, extraordinary moment. She was healed. Who touched me? Suddenly, the movement of the crowd stilled. Jesus, who had been walking steadily onward, stopped abruptly, turning to face the throng behind him. His eyes, filled with a deep, knowing compassion, scanned the faces before him. Who touched me? he asked, his voice gentle yet powerful. The question hung in the air. Confusion rippled through the crowd. The disciples, ever close at hand, exchanged puzzled looks, but Jesus seemed unfazed, waiting for an answer. The woman, her heart pounding, realized she could no longer remain silent. With trembling legs, she stepped forward, pushing past the astonished faces. She stood before him, her head bowed, her entire being radiating a mixture of fear and gratitude. It was me, Lord, she whispered, her voice barely audible. For 12 years I have suffered, and I believed that if only I could touch the hem of your garment, I would be healed. Jesus, his gaze never leaving hers, smiled gently. 
Daughter, he said, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. His words, imbued with divine authority, washed over her like a cleansing balm. Tears streamed down the woman's face, tears of joy, of relief, of gratitude. She fell to her knees, her body trembling with emotion. Thank you, Lord, she whispered, her voice choked with sobs. A wave of astonishment rippled through the crowd. Whispers spread from one person to the next. They had come expecting to witness a miracle, and a miracle they had witnessed, but not in the way they had anticipated. Just a simple touch, a whispered confession, and a profound healing. Many in the crowd felt a surge of awe and wonder. Perhaps this Jesus was indeed the Messiah, the one they had been waiting for. Others, however, remained skeptical, questioning the woman's story. Jesus, sensing their confusion, turned to his disciples. Did you see that? He asked, his voice soft yet intense. The woman's faith, her unwavering belief that I could heal her, was the catalyst for her miracle. It was not simply touching my garment that made her whole, but the depth of her faith. Faith, he explained, was not a passive belief, but an active force, a conduit for God's healing power. The disciples listened intently, beginning to grasp the importance of their own faith in accessing that power. Yet even as Jesus spoke, seeds of doubt lingered in the minds of some disciples. Thomas, ever the pragmatist, struggled to reconcile the miracle with his own logical mind. But Master, he interjected, his brow furrowed in thought, surely it was your power that healed her, not just her belief. People touch you all the time, yet not everyone is healed. His question, though tinged with doubt, was not meant as a challenge to Jesus' authority. It stemmed from a genuine desire to understand the nature of faith and its role in the miraculous. Thomas, like many of us, craved tangible proof evidence that could be seen and touched to support the intangible realm of faith. Jesus, recognizing the sincerity of Thomas's question, smiled patiently. He understood that faith for some was a journey, not a destination. It was a path often fraught with doubts and questions, a winding road that led ultimately to a deeper understanding of God's love and power. Thomas, Jesus replied gently, placing a hand on his disciple's shoulder. Your faith is precious even when it is laced with doubt. Do not be afraid to question, to seek understanding, for it is in the seeking that you will find the truth. He then turned back to his disciples, his gaze sweeping over their faces, imprinting this moment, this lesson, into their hearts. The power to heal, to perform miracles, resides not just within me, but within each one of you, he declared, his voice filled with an authority that resonated with the very core of their beings. Just as the woman's faith opened the door to her healing, so too can your faith unlock the miracles that reside within you. Believe in the power that flows through you, the power of God's love, and you will do even greater things than these. His words, imbued with both promise and challenge, hung in the air, igniting a spark of hope and possibility within each disciple. They had been chosen, not just to witness miracles, but to be instruments of miracles. They were to be conduits of God's love and healing power, bringing hope and transformation to a world desperately in need of both. The task before them was daunting, but the power that resided within them, the power of faith, made all things possible. The story of the woman healed by a touch of faith is not merely a narrative from ancient texts. It is a testament to the enduring power of belief and divine interaction. This miraculous event, occurring in the dusty streets of Judea, echoes through the ages, resonating with countless souls grappling with their own tribulations. The healing touch of Jesus serves as a profound reminder that faith, even as small as a mustard seed, holds the potential to initiate vast changes. This miracle is not confined to the past. It continues to speak to us, offering lessons of hope and the transformative power of faith. 
It encourages us to reach out despite the overwhelming odds to seek the divine touch in our lives. Each person who hears this tale is invited to reflect on their own journey, their struggles and the possibility of miracles. The message is clear, faith can and does alter the course of lives. In contemporary times where skepticism often overshadows belief, the story of the woman's healing stands as a beacon of possibility. It challenges our modern sensibilities, urging us to believe in something beyond the empirical and tangible. It asks us to consider the mysterious, the unexplained, and the miraculous with an open heart and mind. This narrative also teaches us about the communal aspect of miracles. The woman's healing was not a solitary event, but one that impacted all who witnessed it. It stirred the hearts of the crowd, the disciples, and all those who have heard the story since. Her act of faith, simple yet profound, has reverberated through time, inspiring countless others to seek and embrace the power of faith in their lives. Today we find ourselves in a world vastly different from the one in which Jesus walked. Yet the essence of the human spirit's quest for healing and meaning remains unchanged. Stories of modern-day miracles abound, where individuals overcome insurmountable odds through faith, often in ways that defy medical explanation or logical understanding. These contemporary tales of recovery and hope serve to bridge the millennia, connecting us with the woman who dared to touch Jesus' garment. Medical professionals sometimes witness events that challenge their scientific training. Patients recover unexpectedly, their conditions improving rapidly after receiving blessings or engaging in prayer. Such occurrences continue to puzzle and intrigue, offering modern parallels to the biblical miracles, suggesting that the divine may still be at work in our world. Moreover, the psychological and emotional impact of faith is well documented. Belief and spirituality can provide significant mental health benefits, offering strength and resilience in the face of life's challenges. These benefits echo the holistic healing experienced by the woman, highlighting how faith can lead to profound personal transformations. In the broader social context, faith-driven initiatives continue to inspire community action and social change. Whether through charity work, community service, or advocacy, the principles of compassion and miracles inspire individuals and groups to work towards a better world, illustrating the ongoing relevance of faith in action. The act of reaching out to touch the hem of Jesus' garment symbolizes a fundamental human truth, the intrinsic desire for connection and healing. This gesture teaches us several key lessons. Firstly, it underscores the importance of taking action. Faith, as demonstrated by the woman, is an active, dynamic force that compels us to move, to reach out, and to take risks. Secondly, the story highlights the accessibility of divine love. The woman was not a prominent figure. She was marginalized, suffering, yet her simple act of faith brought forth a powerful response. This teaches us that divine grace is available to all, irrespective of our social standing or past. Additionally, this narrative encourages persistence. Despite numerous setbacks and continual suffering, the woman's persistent faith ultimately led to her healing. Her story motivates us to maintain our faith even when circumstances seem bleak and solutions appear distant. Lastly, the healing at the hem of the garment reveals the interconnectedness of our actions. The woman's healing not only transformed her life, but also touched the lives of the witnesses her story continues to inspire faith and courage across generations, showing how individual acts of faith can ripple outwards, influencing many others. The promise of healing and transformation that emanates from the story of the woman and the hem of Jesus' garment is as potent today as it was two millennia ago. It offers a beacon of hope to those in distress, a reminder that faith, coupled with action, has the power to change outcomes. The narrative invites each of us to examine our own lives, to identify where we might be in need of healing, and to take a step of faith toward recovery and wholeness. This story also serves as a call to the modern church and believers worldwide to continue to embrace and promote the power of faith and prayer. It challenges us to be vessels of healing, using our faith to bring comfort, peace, and transformation to those around us. 
As we share our stories of faith-driven recoveries and miracles, we participate in a global tapestry of testimonies that inspire and uplift. Moreover, this tale reassures us that we are not alone in our struggles. Just as the woman found strength and healing through her faith, we too can find support and solace through our communal and individual acts of faith. This interconnectedness, spanning across time and cultures, underscores the universal and timeless nature of the healing touch. In conclusion, the story of the woman who touched Jesus' garment continues to inspire and challenge us. It calls us to a deeper faith, to courageous action, and to a heartfelt belief in the possibilities of healing and renewal. As we carry this story forward, let us do so with open hearts, ready to receive and to extend the healing touch that has changed so many lives.